Hey gents, I want to discuss overthinking with you gents in today's video, and it's a very typical mistake I constantly see men make when it comes to dealing with women. It typically occurs in relationships, but I've also observed it with men who are interacting with women because they are attempting to date several women at once and examine their options, and men truly enjoy making their life complicated and finding excuses for doing so. Women also do it after all. Many men struggle with the desire they have for women. I frequently see it in groups where men submit a snapshot of their interaction with a woman and debate what they did to her and what she did to them in a closed discussion group on a forum or Facebook page. Okay, if I'm being completely honest, some men find it difficult to comprehend the idea of unplugging. You need to become aware of your own bees to unplug. Okay, I'll repeat it once more. The first step is to recognize your own BS. Observing the BS all around you is the second step. I'll now offer you an instance. We currently live in peculiar times where the beer bug issue is still present and has been for many years, and we see men who are incapable of performing specific tasks, and some men can sort of decipher the matrix's code, and they claim to know the reasons behind why they are acting in this way, so they are aware of the BS being thrown at them. If I'm being completely honest, the majority of men are connected to the lies of society, the demands of the government, and everything else that sort of links into that, and they're delighted to cooperate. Some men can recognize their own self-deception, but not see the bees around them. Returning to the previous topic, getting out of your own way. The main point I'm trying to make here is that if you don't recognize your emotions, how in the world are you going to get out of your own way? You must realize that, for the most part, the meatball between your ears is typically the biggest barrier when you're having trouble thinking clearly, especially when speaking to women. And because you're overanalyzing everything, it's getting in the way. Women aren't really that complicated. Every man out there who has figured this out has worked on himself. They have earned the cash. They've lost their belly fat, have style, and have very well reached the peak of their looks, wealth, and prestige. The key is to not complicate things too much if she likes your vibe, so get out of your own way and stop thinking too much about yourself. She will genuinely go to any lengths to be with you if she deems you worthy. The important thing to remember in this situation is that becoming recognized as a man of that caliber will help you get out of your own way and let women see you as a man of value. The third stage of unplugging is entering the system and taking into account that woman's hypergamy standard. For those who are successful with them, there are lots of women with them, so they just rotate. Some men are actually trying to run away from it, but those that have their stuff together have made progress in all facets of life. These men don't really care about other people's opinions, especially those of women. Women want your time, so if they text her and she doesn't respond, or if they phone her and she doesn't pick up, they move on to the next girl. Women would basically do anything for you if they think you are a high enough value man, as I previously stated. Men need to stop getting in their own way and stop complicating things so much. If you're still overweight, get rid of it. Do you have a bad sense of fashion? Shave your head, get a transplant, or do whatever it takes to repair it. You have a poor haircut and are clinging to scraps because you were balding. Your game will suffer and you won't succeed in attracting woman attention. But don't linger too long with women. Getting a bad product is not a good return on your investment. What compels you to pursue these women? When they often don't have a genuine burning need for you, why do you give them endless free attention? Why on earth would you want to waste time doing that? You have 24 hours in a day, seven or eight of them will be spent sleeping, and the remaining ones will be split between sleeping and doing other things. Why do you want to spend all of your free time in the day looking for answers or chasing after shadows? It's unnecessary. Chasing excellence rather than women should be your main goal in life. But many men still complicate matters excessively and devote too much time to pursuing women rather than striving for perfection. There are a lot of men out there who want to spend more time trying to figure out why Mary didn't pick up the phone or why Vivian didn't reply to their texts. Literally, everything comes down to the same thing. She doesn't think choosing you is the smartest move, and you're wasting much too much time overthinking things when you could probably better spend that time investing in yourself and doing something that will benefit you. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers.